Hey guys, welcome back to Now I Know. Today we are talking about pseudo dominance. Now we have talked about genes, alleles, homozygous condition, heterozygous condition, hemizygous condition. So I think this is the correct time that we also look into what is pseudo dominance. Now look at the word itself first. You know that only will give half of the understanding over here. Pseudo means the word pseudo means false, right? Something which is not true. And what is pseudo over here? Dominance, right? So there is a false dominance. Now we know the concept of dominant and recessive allele. For every given gene, we have two alleles. We have a video on that. We have discussed on it because we are diploid organism. We have every chromosome in pair, one coming from mother and one coming from father. So for every given gene, we will have two alleles. Right? They can be either dominant or recessive. Now the dominant allele is the one which gets expressed. Even if there is a one copy of dominant allele, it will get expressed. Right? But for a recessive allele to be expressed, there has to be a homozygous condition. That means both the alleles should be recessive. Then only you will see the uh, trait. Then only it will express. All right. So this was the basic concept. So what is happening over here? Why is it called pseudo dominance? What exactly is pseudo dominance? Pseudo dominance is a condition where a recessive allele, only one copy, only one recessive allele is present, is getting expressed. Right? You see, the concept is, you know, what should happen? There has to be a homozygous recessive condition in order to express or in order to see the phenotype of recessive allele. But in case of pseudo dominance, only one recessive allele is getting expressed. That means it mimics the dominant pattern. All right, so this is pseudo dominance. The basic concept is a single recessive allele is getting expressed. That means it is mimicking the dominant pattern. But in what case can this happen? Where can we see such condition? Now we know that for a female, we have sex chromosome XX and for male, we have XY. So for all the genes that are present on X chromosome, female would have two copies, that means two alleles, but male would have only one allele, right? I think you got an idea by now uh, where we are going with this. So for female, any recessive trait to be expressed, you need a homozygous condition. That means both the X chromosome should have that recessive allele, right? But in case of male, what would happen? Whatever is present on this one single X chromosome, either it is dominant or recessive, that is going to get expressed, isn't it? Let's say for example, this X chromosome has got one recessive allele for any particular gene. There is no counterpart for this X chromosome. There is no pair for this X chromosome to you know decide whether this recessive allele can get expressed or not. There is nothing else uh, over there. So this one X chromosome whatever alleles are present would get expressed. Having said that what I mean is even if there is one copy of recessive allele present on this X chromosome it is going to get expressed. Generally this is not what we are expecting for recessive allele to be expressed it has to be in homozygous condition it is a dominant allele which is you know only one copy is enough to be expressed so here this recessive allele is actually mimicking the uh, dominant pattern right so such condition is called pseudo dominance i hope i'm clear over here you know in case of male as i said there's only one x chromosome so even if one recessive copy or one recessive allele is present, this is going to get expressed. So this is the example of pseudo dominance. Since it doesn't have any other copy, it is going to get expressed. Now we can also observe this condition in case of autosomal chromosome. Easy to understand in what condition if you know any one allele from both the chromosome, any one allele is getting lost due to any deletion there is loss of one allele so whatever is present on this chromosome maybe it's a recessive allele that is going to get expressed isn't it so this is again an example of pseudo dominance 
So in case of autosomal chromosome, if there is a deletion uh, on the chromosome, one allele is getting lost and the other allele is recessive, it is going to get expressed. Now how this can be more harmful uh, in case of males, say for example, there are X-linked genetic disorders or I would say X-linked recessive genetic disorders. So what does this mean? A genetic disorder that occurs as a result of a recessive condition on X chromosome. There is a recessive allele, you know, one gene is present in recessive condition on X chromosome. Say for example, hemophilia in red green color blindness. These are X linked recessive genetic disorder. So there has to be a homozygous recessive condition in order to see these two uh, genetic disorders in case of female. Now why would I say this? Because in case of male there is only one X chromosome. So even if in case of male there is going to be one recessive allele for this disorders it is going to get expressed. So for male only one of the recessive allele would result in this genetic disorder. Whereas in case of female they have to be homozygous recessive means both the chromosomes should have a recessive allele for these genetic disorder. For male also it is the same thing only homozygous recessive condition it should be but there is no other uh, chromosome there is no other X chromosome to have that so even if one recessive allele is there it is going to get expressed isn't it? Recessive allele simply if I want to say it's nothing but uh, allele that gets expressed in the absence of dominant allele isn't it so even if one recessive allele is there and there is nothing else over on the other part that is enough for the recessive allele to get expressed and that is why in case of male even if there is one recessive allele for these genetic disorders it is going to get expressed that is how this condition can be a little more problematic in case of male so that's all about pseudo dominance very interesting and important thing uh, to know in genetics so that's all for now i hope this video was helpful do subscribe to the channel for new video every week and i'll see you next time until then keep learning